How do you lock the container onto the chassis? Or lock the chassis onto the container? Same thing. But once they put down the container on top of the chassis, this your chassis right here. This is basically the rail that the um, container sit on. Once they sit the container on it, you have these locks right here. You pull it out, whenever it's out like that, it's unlocked. And that's when they sit the container down. Some of the crane operators that have experience, they could put on the container with the front ones locked like that. Sometimes they'll put on, they'll sit the container down and they'll sit it about, about right here from, from the actual front and then they'll slide it up and the pin that's in there will go inside the container. pin right there that's why it slide inside the container so you have these little eyes right here one at the front and one at the side and that's where the locking pin go into the one in the front so some of them do it like that I don't whenever I go in the port I always make sure all my locks are out they unlock that way they could just sit the container down and then unlock it and the way you lock it you just push it in and that's lock right there you could run a zip tie through it just to give you assurance that it's locked and it's not going to come undone when you're going down the road sometimes I put it on sometimes I don't some states require it and some don't so i advise you to do it especially if you're new but it's up to you if you want to do it so that's how you lock the front if you have a 20 foot container the lock different from how these four is locked so that's how you 40 foot container lock and if you see it just sit down on the rail there's nothing holding it secure going down here now for the back the back ones lock a little different from the front ones these ones you have this secure latch right here you lift it up and unlock it that's how if it's in this position it's unlocked so if you're going down the road and you look in your mirror and you see this stick out like that you know that your container not secure it's supposed to be in lift up the latch and you push it in then you put the latch down <coughs> so your latch supposed to be on this side if your latch is on this side, it's not secure. And same thing, you could put a zip tie through here, run it through your, run it around your latch, and there'll be another hole. It'll be another hole right here. You could put your zip tie through it and secure it. That way, you know, you know for sure it's not going to come undone when you're going down the road. Same thing with right here. Now sit the container down when you have it like this. Now sit the container down on it. You can see it right there. And when you go to lock it, that turn, and that's how you secure the container. And that's how it is on all four sides. The way it is on the back, on the 20 foot chassis, that's how the front look. So the front and the back look the same on the 20 foot chassis. But on the 40 and the 45s, the fronts are different. So 
So if you ever wonder how the container sit on the chassis, how does it secure on the chassis? That's how they secure. <clears throat> you always want to double check. Every time you stop, every time you take eyes off your truck, you leave, you come back to your truck, so you stop to get fuel, um, you stop to get lunch or something, and you come back to your truck, you always want to check your pins and make sure they're locked. Because there's people out there that will unlock your pins. You're going down the road and you take a turn. Next thing you know, the container laying on the ground. And then sometimes you pick up a container in the port and you're in so much of a rush, you forget to lock your pins. And it's multiple occasions where you see the container fall off the chassis because they forget to lock it. So that's how you lock your, your arm. That's how you secure the container to the chassis right there. 